been a while since I did this, but uh guys so um lunchtime hunt i went to target i didn't think i was going to find anything because the primary reason for me going here is to get my wife a strawberry acai refresher at the uh, starbucks here because they always have strawberry acai in stock unlike the standalone starbucks stores but i digress i came here to get that for her decided to check out the toy section decided to check out the collector section aka the NECA section aka the pop section and you know what? I found some stuff here. And I didn't even think to take my phone out and record the hunt. So uh, when I got back to the car, I'm like, you know what? Might as well do a little haul ski from the car ski, a little old school haul. So let me show you what I got here in this little haul. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a big haul. It's big to me because it cost me $125. Uh, and uh, anything over $100 that you spend on plastic crack is kind of a big deal to me. But anyway. That's also because I'm a cheapskate, but that's okay. First up, bam! Adam West, Batman, Nick Fallen, and guess what? I got Burt Ward too, Robin. Holy frick! Before Batman 89 came out, this was in syndication when I was a child. I used to watch this all the time. I freaking loved, loved the Batman 1966 television show. Watched the absolute frick out of it. Uh, this is partly responsible for turning me into a comic book nerd. As an adult, as a teenager, I am showing a lot of chest hair right now, so let me go ahead and cover that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hell yes, hell freaking yes. Batman and Robin, can't ask for more. I would potentially like to get the Bat Cave. That would complete the whole idea that I have for display uh, and it would also go along well with this my friends so I originally bought this and I had it and I was like I'm never gonna find the Batman and Robin so <laughs> I returned it because that's how my mind works if I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish uh, the display that I have in mind I just either sell it or return it so I returned it thankfully they had it here they had two of them here very, very happy that they had this and the Batman and the Robin. I passed on the Joker, passed on him temporarily. If they do more villains, I will probably get the Joker and the other villains, but I am not sure if they're gonna do more villains or not, so I passed on him for now. I would love, absolutely love, to get a Batgirl in the motorcycle. That would be freaking badass. But uh, again, I don't know what McFarlane has planned for the line. But I'm just happy I got what I got. Guess what? I got a freaking mangled ass Star Wars Vintage Collection figure. This was the only one. Here is the ones that were in this wave. But they had this one, and they had four more of this one. There was five, and they were all beat to frick. But uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that it's beat to frick because I am gonna open it. It's Lando, bam. Upgraded Lando, three and three quarter inch, again my scale of choice for Star Wars and G.I. Joe. Why? Because that's what I freaking started with, my friends. That's what I started with, is three and three quarter. All you youngins out there that are like, uh, if there's three and three quarters, six inch, or die. You guys, A, you don't know shit. B, three and three quarter. You'll learn eventually, you'll learn eventually. This is where it's at. You know why this is where it's at? You know why? Because vehicles. That's all I gotta say. Because vehicles. Big Millennium Falcon. Sail barge. Are you gonna put your frickin' six inch figure on the frickin' sail barge? No, it's gonna look stupid. Three and three quarter. Vehicles. Last item in the target haul here is one. Ooh, what's that? It's one that I've been looking for. I didn't think I was gonna find it. Didn't think I was gonna find it. Stumbled upon it here and I was like, well, I guess it's my lucky freaking day. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. His name's Goliath and he 
is a gargoyle and he is freaking huge freaking huge as my buddy robo would say he's large large purple winged badass jacked freaking awesome goliath neca gargoyles i have no idea where i'm gonna put it thanks for being here for this uh target toy haul ski uh, sorry, I didn't have the, any hunt footage, but uh, what else did they have? They had a Michelangelo versus uh, Daniel LaRusso. That was interesting. They had that. They had the Gunslinger Spawn here. Passed on it. Passed on it because this. Uh, and that's about it. They had the new Ghostbusters figures. They had, they had, they had. That's it. That's about it. But check out your targets. Uh, hopefully, if you're looking for these guys, if you're looking for the Batmobile, Goliath, Batman and Robin, hopefully you guys can find them. Because I want you to find them. And I want to share the joy that I have with these things with you guys. So uh, that's it for now. See you at the Nerd Bar. I'll show you the other stuff that I have in this haul. And, uh, and we'll take it from there, my friends. And I'm going to go deliver this and be the freaking hero of the day. I did it again. I did it again. It's a different day, different target. I didn't take this camera out, this phone, whatever the hell it's called. I didn't take it out. A, first of all, go Bengals three and one, baby. Um, I did not take the phone out, was not gonna film a hunt. This video is basically like the anti-toy hunt video. Uh, but you know what? I found something in here. First of all, wasn't even gonna go here. I had to get uh, a walker from Mi Madre. I uh, picked up a walker for her, Tay Tay called, wanted some freaking donuts. So who am I to deny a child of some delicious donuts? So I was going out to get her some donuts and I saw Target and I'm like, hey, let me go see what they got. They did not disappoint. So I picked this guy up. Not a toy, not a toy. It's a collectible. Bam, Raven Spawn. Uh, I wasn't really planning on getting this. I didn't, I wasn't seeking this out, but when you see something in your hand and you hold it in your hand and you look at the paint job and you look at the sculpt and you look at this badass freaking face and those green ass eyes and you're like, damn, this thing looks freaking sweet. Then you just decide to get it. And you know what? I took a pass on this at the previous Target and the more I looked at it, Plus I got the Raven spawn. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do a freaking little spawn shelf, little spawn shelf. So I got this guy. I believe this is a Target exclusive gunslinger spawn. Bam, hell freaking yes. There he is in the back. That's a cool pose, I might do that. So gunslinger, Raven, there you go. There's some more stuff. I will see you at the nerd bar. Uh, I have uh, a small stack of comic books with some freaking cool eyes covers, and I have a hot toy, which I'll show you, and I have a Mafex, but I apologize for not showing you any hunt footage. Sometimes, sometimes you just don't want to pull out your phone and record figures in a store. Sometimes you just want to walk around. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're finding what you're looking for. Hope you're being happy, just being happy collecting action figures as, a, as an adult. That's what it's all about. There's no reason to get all frickin' get your panties in a wad about toys. There's no reason to cause drama on the frickin' YouTubes over frickin' toys. Come on, guys. <sighs> frickin' lame AF. Anyway, have fun, guys. Have fun with it. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Bobby McFerrin said it best. There is someone next to me right now, loading their car. I wonder what she got. Hopefully she got some, some good stuff. Maybe some figs, you never know. Although she has some gray hair, so I highly doubt she picked up some spawn figures. But uh, you never know. Adios for now, guys. Hey guys, welcome to the Nerd Bar, and uh, let me show you some of the other stuff that I have picked up this week including something that's gonna go very, very well with my 89 Batman display. And I have the uh, one sheet poster framed, the uh, original promotional poster that you saw in movie theaters uh, framed. And then I'll, in front of it, I have the quarter scale NECA Batman figure. 
I'm also planning on putting the grapnel gun, the full-size replica by, I think NECA makes it, in that display as well. I plan on displaying this bad boy right here. So here is the Batarang from 89 Batman. Uh, but they look pretty good and they display really well and I think it'll look really, really good with the quarter scale 89 Keaton Batman and then that movie poster as well. So uh, that's the first thing that I picked up. Next thing that I picked up is a new Mafex figure. I got this one super early from AmiAmi. Uh, I actually got this like, I think it was like two weeks ago. It is from Batman Hush and it is Hush himself. So I got the Mafex Hush figure. Very, very cool. There he is right there. Uh, currently in my display, I have uh, my Hush Mafex figures displayed with my Dark Knight Returns figures. I currently have the Blue Cape Batman, the Catwoman, and the Superman, and this will be my fourth right here. Here is Hush. I thought about getting the Black Cape Batman as well, but I really, really like the Blue Cape one, so I'll probably just stick with that one. But I am happy to get the titular character from Hush, Hush. Bam, very, very cool. Can't wait to get this one on the shelf. And then another pickup that I have here is from Super 7. I was not expecting this guy to be this big when I got it in the mail. He is a, it's in a large box, as you can see here. But it is a Thundercats figure, again by Super 7, and it is Slythe. So let me go ahead and take him out of the shipper box here and show you what's inside. And then you got this beautiful box here. The shiny metallic looking box. Very, very nice looking box. But we are all concerned about what's inside and there he is. I have not looked at him in person yet. Holy freaking awesome. <laughs> that is so cool, he's huge. He is absolutely huge. If you can see him right there without the glare. So he will go with Mumra, Panthro, and Lino that I currently have down there. Can't wait for more uh, Thundercats figures. Can't wait for the Silverhawks figures. Can't wait for more Super 7 figures. I, I personally think that Super 7 is absolutely killing it right now. If you're a kid of the 80s and you watch 80s cartoons, I, I gotta say that you you're probably wanting to collect the Super 7 stuff because their stuff is just really, really nice. The presentation, the box, the figures themselves. I know there's some tolerance issues and some sticky joint issues and whatnot, but as far as the product itself, I'm just very, very happy with it. All right, so last thing I wanna show you is a Hot Toys figure, but I already took the Hot Toys figure out of box, so I'm actually gonna show it to you in the Nerd Bar where I currently have it displayed, but before we look at the Hot Toys figure, I did wanna share a few comic books that I did purchase, including this one right here. This is Inferno issue one. This is the first issue in the new Inferno mini series. Uh, this one has kind of a special place in my heart because I actually started collecting comic books with Uncanny X-Men 237. The very next issue, issue 238, was the beginning of Inferno, way back then in 1988, uh, the original miniseries for Inferno. So um, I actually uh, am really looking forward to reading this because uh, I'm not sure how closely tied it's going to be to the original Inferno series, but I chose this cover. There was a, a few covers that I was really, really contemplating. The Mystique cover right here looked freaking amazing. The White Queen Emma Frost cover right here looked great. But I chose this one right here because this is an homage to the original advertisements that Marvel ran for Inferno. So I remember seeing these advertisements when I first started collecting comic books with the, the three characters there. And I'll show some pictures of those advertisements here. But uh, this cover just brings me back to those original ads that they ran for Inferno. So very, very freaking awesome. I'm really looking forward to this Inferno series. Really looking forward to reading it. I also got Kang, number two. Thor, number 17. Moving on to DC, I got Robin, number six. I need to catch up on Robin. I'm only on issue three of Robin. Suicide Squad, number seven, with old ambush bug on the front. Moving on to uh, Image Crossover. I'm a few issues back on Crossover, but I really like it so far. Spawn, look at that cover. Todd McFarlane drew that cover right there. Pretty sweet cover. And then that Texas Blood, final comic in this little short stack of comic books here. 
Uh, this is from the second arc. I'm only on issue six. I still need to finish the first arc of That Texas Blood, but um, I'll be starting the second arc very, very soon. It's very uh, crime noir-ish, so if you're into stuff like that, it might be for you. But those are the comic books. That's the stuff that I picked up. Let's go check out the new hot toy that I got in the collection. All right, we are here in the newish nerd bar right here. I have uh, the newest figure in the collection. It's Mysterio, No Way Home, or Far From Home. Which one are we on? Far From Home. No Way Home's the new one that's not out yet, right? Yes. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm confused. This is Mysterio. He comes with some very, very cool green smoke effects, Mysterio effects, which just kind of sit on their own next to the base. But uh, take a look at this figure right here. I was very, very surprised with how much I liked this figure. I had it pre-ordered. Uh, I knew that I liked his character from the movie, but uh, when I got the figure in hand, I saw how cool this head sculpt was. I was very, very happy that I bought this one and pre-ordered this one. He's got the little effects there. Wired cape at the bottom. But just a very, very awesome looking figure. Nice uh, metallic armor. Very cool paint job on that. That head sculpt is awesome. And he does come with another head sculpt, but I just like this head sculpt so much. I haven't put the Jake Gyllenhaal head sculpt on. So yes, it does come with a second head sculpt, a Jake Gyllenhaal unhelmeted, unmasked Mysterio head sculpt. I think that's a pretty good likeness to Jake Gyllenhaal. Very, very cool. He does come with more uh, accessories, which I do not have out. They're in the box, but just wanted to show you uh, the newest figure in the collection. Very, very happy with it. Mysterio, I highly recommend him, especially if you like the movie, especially if you like the character, I recommend him even more. He's just a very, very cool figure with a lot of shelf presence. All right, guys, so that is the video. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Check out the rest of the guys that have videos uh, on Sweet Spot Monday. Uh, please feel free to give a thumbs up to this video. I would uh, greatly appreciate that. Uh, but uh, that's it for now. So I will see you guys in the next video. Keep collecting. Keep buying comics. Keep buying action figures. Uh, they are a great, great escape from uh, the stresses of regular life. But uh, I'll see you around the corner, and uh, I'll see you soon.